In this video, I want to talk you through some of the different types of Facebook ad. Now, Facebook used to have lots of different types of ad. But these days, they've narrowed it down to just a few. And I suspect that these were probably the most popular ones anyway, and they've um, discontinued the ones that people weren't particularly interested in. So let's talk you through some of the different ones. And the first one is a promoted post. And the supported placements are the right column, the mobile feed, and the news feed. And this is a great way of getting a larger audience engaged with an important piece of content or promotion. And for a set budget, you can boost a post which will increase its visibility in the feed of people who like your page as well as their friends. Then there's a boosted post, which is slightly different. And the supported placements are the right column, mobile feed, and news feed. And it's available to pages with 50 likes or more, and it's a simpler version of the promoted post. And you choose fans of your page and their friends, or you can choose to select targeting criteria. Then there's a domain ad and the supported placement is in the right column. And domain ads are essentially adverts that appear in the sidebar and point directly to a website that you're hosting. It's a similar way to um, a Google AdSense ad. And they are perhaps the simplest form of ads and are composed of a simple heading and a block of text. Then there's the multi-product ad. And the supported placements are the news feed and the mobile news feed. And multi-product ads display multiple items on a slideshow type display that lets users browse and shop right from Facebook. And this is incredibly powerful for e-commerce stores. And it means you're only really posting one ad to promote a whole range of different products. And it's also good if you've got um, a bricks and mortar store or something like that. You can use this type of advertisement, again, to highlight your products, showcase your products. Then there's page like. And the supported placements are the right column, the news feed, and the mobile news feed. And this is basically an advert for your Facebook page. And with these... What you're trying to do is increase the number of likes so that you can generate a bigger audience to market to. And this is really part of a long-term strategy. You're probably not going to make any direct sales from this sort of thing, but you are going to get more people to like your page, you're going to get more fans, and you're going to grow your audience slowly over time. So it's something to plan for the long term. Then there are video ads. And the supported placements are the right column, news feed, and the mobile news feed. And as the name would suggest, video ads let you showcase a video. And they're good for getting likes and they're powerful for video marketing. Then there are app ads and the supported placement is in the right column and the news feed. And if you've built a branded app for Facebook, then this is how you can promote it and encourage downloads. Then there is an event ad, and the supported placements are the right column, news feed, and mobile news feed. And as the name would imply, events allow you to advertise events. And these can be useful for increasing interest for a company launch event, for instance, or for a conference. Or if you've got um, a bricks and mortar store and you're doing an in-store promotion, you could use this sort of an ad uh, to advertise it. Or if you're a band or something like that and you want to get people to come to your next gig, then you can use an event ad uh, to get people there. Then there's the offer ad, and the supported placements are the right column, news feed, and mobile news feed. 
And an offer advert is useful for companies who want to market a special offer, as the name would imply. And anyone who clicks on your ad will be emailed a code that they can then use to redeem your special offer. And it's great for encouraging sales. So that, of course, begs the question, what ad type should you go for? Well, that depends. As a general rule, you'll want to use the domain ads when you're looking to generate direct conversions by selling a product, you know, such as an ebook. Meanwhile, the promoted or boosted posts make more sense for businesses trying to build followers and they represent more of a long term strategy. Getting fans for a page on Facebook can be very powerful as it allows you to market to them more often and it lets you strengthen your relationship with them. For e-commerce stores, there's clearly a big benefit in multi-product and offer ads. And for companies running events or for bricks and mortar stores running in-store promotions, event ads certainly make a lot of sense. Really, though, you won't know which ad is the very best for your campaign until you try a few. You may be surprised if you compare the performance of a few different ads, so experiment with them for a bit and don't make assumptions. At the same time, you should try to avoid thinking of each ad individually and instead think of them as part of a larger campaign.